When folks learn I love to tell salaciously funny fairy tales, they often ask for an example. The tale I'm sharing with you today is my favorite example to use. It's short and surprising with a great punchline. It's a Japanese folktale that's a variant of their popular The Crane Wife, but it's much less tragic and has a very different animal at its center. Fucked up fairy tales with Liz. Ding! Once upon a time, there was a man who was just living his life when one day a woman showed up and was like, Hi, I'll be your wife now. Sounds great. He'd been getting by as a bachelor, even did a little cooking for himself. But his new wife brought dinner to the next level. Wow, I could never make my bean soup this good. Thanks, honey. What do you do differently? I haven't seen you bring home any ingredients that are different from the ones I usually use. Family secret. Yeah, but I'm your family now, baby. Family secret. One day, the man decided to do some investigating. He pretended to head out to work for the day, but then he snuck back. Holy shit! What the fuck is going on here? It's not what it looks like. It looks like you're pissing into the soup. Okay, it is what it looks like, but I can explain. Before his eyes, the woman transformed. I'm a clam. What? It's clam juice that makes the soup so good. You have to leave. Fine, if you're going to be unappreciative. Out. And the clam wife dragged herself away. The end. That folktale is called The Clam Wife. This is the text I found it in, and it has a lot of other wonderful Japanese folktales available online. And it's one of several animal wife-based folktales from Japan. There's also the crane wife, the fox wife, the pheasant wife, the snake wife, and the frog wife. The crane wife will be featured in an upcoming episode of my Patreon podcast. But leave me a comment if you'd like me to share one of those other animal wife fairy tales. Thanks for watching! Fucked up fairy tales with Liz!